It's July, people. I'd much rather be outside today being a creep and stalking half-naked women. But I'm already on probation. Good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is Last Month in Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. Can't take the risk. Strike three and I'll be the half-naked woman being stalked. In prison. We start the broadcast off with DJ Khaled at his six-year-old son Assad's graduation, where Assad and the graduating class sang a snippet of a couple of DJ Khaled songs. Which means Assad stood there grabbing his nuts, repeated one word the whole time, and then took credit for the entire performance. He's a chip off the old block. A few days later, DJ Khaled wiped out in the ocean and is recovering from banging his ribs on the surfboard. It's also mating season for killer whales. Coincidence? The manuscript of the hit song Bohemian Rhapsody from legendary band Queen is being auctioned off. The original title of the song was written down as Mongolian Rhapsody, but Freddie Mercury ultimately changed his mind. The manuscript is being auctioned off from anywhere between $100,000 to $150 million. That's like me putting in a bid and telling them, well, I can pay you sometime between now and when Freddie Mercury rises from the grave and gets that overbite fixed. Lead singer of All American Rejects, Tyson Ritter, said that when he went to talk to Megan Fox in her trailer about a scene in a movie they were filming where he puts his fingers in her mouth, that Machine Gun Kelly got upset and threw a tantrum. He told Ritter that Megan's mouth is off limits, especially when you put something bigger than his dick in it. <laughs> Lucky girl. Grimes got a massive leg tattoo of whatever that is. She also got one on her ear and said she's also considering a face tattoo. That's not the most shocking thing from this picture, though. Grimes is worth about $12 million, so how about buying some clean goddamn socks? She was aptly named with that grimy-ass footwear. The Hive's frontman, Pele Almquist, cut his head while swinging his microphone on stage. Now he knows how I feel every time I go to the bathroom. It has its own gravity, people. In a related story, singer Ethel Kane was three songs into a concert when she fainted on stage. She's supposedly okay, but seeing it is enough to traumatize anyone. Penis jokes are making a comeback, people. Rapper Jonathan Jamal Porter, better known as Blueface, was arrested for robbery when entering a courtroom for a separate case. He was originally attending court on a much less serious allegation of attempted murder. He had to appear later in the month before a judge on the robbery matter, so he was booked for the whole month of June. It's good to see our youth are keeping themselves busy instead of keeping their face in a screen all day. How does he find the time to box his girlfriend, Christian Rock? He's a multitasker. Blanchelle talked about how ageism in the music industry made her feel too old to be a success. How old was Blanchelle when she got into the music business? The very ripe old age of 19. Perfect stage name. This brings us to our wonderful sponsors, Grimy, the Grimes multi-millionaire homeless chic clothing collection. Fit in with the commoners for when the apocalypse is nigh and eat the rich isn't a slogan anymore, but a lifestyle. Every purchase comes with a free screening for white trash syndrome. The blue face and Krishan rock sock the rock relationship compatibility test. Set your hands free. If she comes back to you, then it's meant to be. Mm, I've known some people like that in such loving relationships. That's the type of love that lasts a lifetime. Hmm, jealous. Numerous concerts and sports events were canceled over a couple of days in June over portions of the Northeast, including New York, because of smoke from the Canadian wildfires covering the state in an orange, ash-smelling haze. It was the first time Canada forced something this bad on Americans since Nickelback. Sure, I'll hop on the bandwagon. Canadians are good people? I think not. Demi Lovato said that she's readopting she, her pronouns and that using they, them pronouns was exhausting. Her new pronouns should be bi and polar. Stay off the drugs, kids. The Fugees reunited at the Roots Annual Picnic Festival in Philadelphia. Member Pras Michelle faces 20 years in prison for numerous criminal charges having to do with election campaign financing. Lauren Hill said it gives her enough of a buffer to get to their next reunion on time. Hmm, talk about BP time. 
Courtney Kardashian let Travis Barker know that she was pregnant with his baby, supposedly, at one of his shows by holding up a sign. Then Courtney posted these photos on her Instagram page afterwards. Want to know how this was a PR stunt? The big friggin' bump on her damn stomach. Travis just found out about his wife, who he practically lives inside of, is what looks like three months pregnant. Did he think she's just been eating too many carbs? Former President Barack Obama has let it be known that it's actually him picking the songs on his end-of-the-year playlist that are made public, including the songs Bombs Over Baghdad by Outkast, You Drop the Bomb on Me by The Gap Band, and Cherry Bomb by The Runaways, just to name a few. You get the picture. His playlist has gone to number one all around the Middle East. Looks like he's rocking out to some energetic The End of the World by Skeeter Davis. If you don't know, check it out. It's a lovely, uplifting song. A huge mechanical bull that was at the 2022 Commonwealth Games has been named after Ozzy Osbourne. Don't ask me why. Osbourne was delighted and said, I'm absolutely blown away. I have a feeling Ozzy was blown away decades ago. <laughs> In the most unsurprising headline of the month, Afro Man was detained at the U.S.-Canadian border on possession of weed. In other news, the sky is blue, water is wet, and nobody gives a shit. Uh, are we still really hung up on weed possession? Elton John's Glastonbury 2023 set breaks BBC viewing records with 7.3 million. He broke the record that he himself set in his 30s when he viewed only a few thousand BBCs. Before we leave, I'd like to show you just how big Cardi B's kitchen island is to remind you all just how poor you are. It's so big that her ass almost fits on it. Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video. Comment down below and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Until next time. I like um, Dua Lipa. Me too. I don't know the songs, I but it. I would let her shit in my mouth if she wanted. Me too.